What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're new to my channel, my name's Dutch. In today's video, we're going to be talking about, is it time for lamb chops? I've been getting tons of requests to butcher a lamb. And uh, that's what I got. I got five, I got five young lambs back behind me here. Uh, in today's video, I'm just going to talk to you all about when I do process my lambs, what age, how, what weight and all that stuff. But you can see back here behind me, I'll show you, I'll show you the ones right now. Um, but before we get started, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please take the time to click the button right over there. It says subscribe and it will subscribe you to my channel and you get all my new content. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Okay. Now I let the, I let Jesse and the sheep out, um, just to graze in the, um, in the evening. Um, just on some, you know, we got a little bit of fresh grass here and there, even though it's middle of, uh, winter out here in Oklahoma, there's still green grass popping up. There's probably a lot of weeds, but they eat they eat it like crazy. They got a hay bale over there they've been eating on, but I like to get them out here and let them graze around. Let them run around and do that. I usually don't feed them on the ground like that, but I was getting them out here and it's not gonna hurt them. There's no parasites right here. They don't ever poop and pee over here because I don't ever feed them right there. So that's not a big deal. Oh, Jesse just kicked that one. But watch out for him. Now, if you're not familiar with sheep, uh, especially my sheep, I raise a hair sheep, um, they're Dorper sheep, uh, crossed with a little bit of Katahdin, uh, Katahdin, Katahdin, whatever you wanna call them. Um, they're both a hair sheep. You can see the I got some pure white ones back here They're like almost purebred dorpers and I love raising dorpers because usually they shed pretty good But my two older ewes um, have had a hard time shedding this year. Oh, Jesse's going crazy. I look at him He's wanting in there. Woo, Jesse calm down, buddy <laughs> Anyways, these these five white ones right here. I'll show you guys to him in just a second, but these are the ideal weight for lamb chops for butchering a lamb um, you want to raise them up to 50 to 90 pounds. That's the ideal weight people butcher their, their sheep at. And these are probably right at, oh, these little ones right here. Are probably, I'm going to guess they're probably at 70 pounds or so. They're not real big, maybe 65, 70 pounds. Um, now, I do have a, a ram in here with them because they are of breeding age, and that's why I got them. I don't have these particular ones for butchering, but if I was to go get one, those would be the ones I'd get right now. If I wanted to butcher one, I'd go grab, I'd grab one of those. Now these bigger ones, I'll turn around and show it to you. Now these bigger ones, they are full blown in pregnancy mode. They got babies in them for sure. But those are two year olds. These other ones are probably getting close to about 11 months. So probably be two years in February. Um, but those are the ideal uh, lambs right there that you would want to process and butcher for yourself um, to eat. That size right there. You can see the difference between a one year old and a two year old, quite a big difference. And that one actually shed pretty good. That's the thing about hair sheep. They're supposed to shed. They rub on trees and branches and posts to help shed that. She did not shed very good this year. I could probably pull a lot of that off. Well, it's just hanging there. Sorry, Jesse. Now I could probably pull some of it off, get it off there, shave her. I just haven't had time to do it. It's not hurting her by any means. Um, it's actually got to give her a pretty good coat uh, for the winter for this cold. Uh, cold weather we've been getting here lately, but today's been awesome like 65 degrees today it's been awesome um but yeah a lot of people say well you need to shave it you don't you don't have to you don't have to um could i absolutely i could hey jesse jesse going crazy over here <laughs> i could definitely shave her but i just haven't had the time to come out here and do it and it's not hurting anything by any means uh so it doesn't look very pleasant uh not very uh appealing to the eyes but it's not affecting the sheep whatsoever you gotta remember if these sheep were in the wild someone going out there and shave them no they're not so um, it doesn't hurt them at all and i know they're not very good to look at but when they do shed like these little ones i got these five and they shed they had shed awesome and i love them i'll show you a little bit more of them these five right here the five white ones i don't know what she's doing i would love to get about 20 of these ewes um i like the all black head dorpers where y'all going there's my ram gabby quit gabby's gabby's my sheep dog I like the all black head dorpers. I think they look cool, um, but the white ones are just as good for uh, meat production as they are, as they are the the black head ones. And she is awesome with the sheep. She will round them up for me anytime I need her help, and she's helped me quite a bit uh, in the past. Whenever I couldn't get one round up, she would corral it for me. These two are buddies. They kind of just hang out together. See, she's kind of pushing them back over here. It's like their natural instinct. These shepherds. Don't get kicked, Gabby. You better watch out. Gabby, I don't want you putting them back in the pen. Now they come back over there for that feed. But I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll let them roam around, you know, right up till dark. And then I'll admit, that ram just went crazy. Let them roam around right up until dark. 
Now, the thing is with this ram, these were these were young ewes, so I didn't know if they would take or not. Um, just by looking at them, none of maybe that one might have taken, and maybe that one. It's just hard to tell. I know these other three, they don't look like they have, but I think they can change pretty quick. Um, that's the ram, Steve. But this one over here, I mean, you could just you could blatantly tell those two big ones. That one actually looks like she's starting. Look like she's starting to get a little bit of milk sack, but I think it's still a little bit early for that. Gabby, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Wolf. The girls are out riding their goat cart somewhere. I don't want them the loner running. Gabby, leave her alone. Yeah, so I find the girls over here probably got stuck on their little goat cart. It is a muddy mess out here still. Oh, there they are. As long as they don't chase the sheep, I don't care what they do. They can, they can ride around. Leave the sheep alone. let them run around for a little bit so yeah the ideal if you're looking to route and I'm guessing it's probably the same with goats Daniel from Orange Family Homestead he could correct me on this but I'm guessing uh, it's, it's still ideal for goats people like to process 50 to 90 pounds that's just the ideal weight uh, anything over 100 pounds is usually they're over a year old and they're not they're not lambs anymore anything under a year consider lambs uh, I don't know about the goat world consider kids still I guess I don't know um, but yeah, I got five that if I was going to butcher, those would be the ideal five right there. Perfect, perfect size to, uh, to take care of. Kids. <laughs> yeah, so um, like I said, I've been getting tons of uh, comments. Hey, Dutch, could you butcher a lamb? Show us the processing part. Show us grilling some lamb chops. I'm going to do that, just not with this flock right here. Um, whenever they have their lambs, and if I get, I'm going to keep all the ewes back. Um, now because I'm trying to build my flock up. If any of them had little ram lambs, uh, then those are the ones that I will um, band and that's the ones I will raise to process myself. Uh, so the ewes, they're not, um, they're not the ones that I want to butcher right now because I'm trying to build my flock up, like I said. Got Jesse over here. So yeah, I just want to throw a quick video up uh, for you guys to show you um, what size lambs, um, what, what age they are and what size they are that you process and butcher for your freezer. Um, I could those would be perfect just like I said and you can look back in the video and you can see a two-year-old lamb a two-year-old uh, you compared to 11 month old lamb big difference uh, wait the two-year-old way more mature now a lot of times I would wait to uh, to put a ram in with such young uh, ewes but the breeder I got these from that's what she when I put them in October and that's what that's exactly the time she puts hers in. She's been raising for 30 years, I think 20 or 30 years, something like that crazy amount of time. Um, she's, she's probably got 60 head of ewes. And uh, she said, I'm putting my I'm putting the ram out in October. And if you're wanting uh, to have babies out of them, they will be perfectly uh, mature enough to have the babies. Now, a lot of times with uh, young ewes like that, um, they'll have singles. But the more mature, the older they are, a lot of times they'll have, they'll have twins. Um, you, can, you can have twins. Um, at that age, but it's a little bit more rare. Uh, and Dorp, the Dorper breed are actually known for having twins. They actually have uh, more twins than they do singles. Um, but I think that comes with more uh, maturity too, like a two-year-old, one-half-year-old, not necessarily the young, the young ewes like I got back here. Um, so I'm anxious to see, because um, this ram has actually had triplets out of several sets of his old flock. So um, those two ewes back there, the big ones, they're the perfect candidate to throw some triplets and, and some twins. And I can't wait to see because we'll have those. We'll probably have them in the next, I'm guessing, 60 days if I did my math right. Um, they're about 90, I think they're about 90 days, October, November. Yeah, they're about 90 days um, pregnant because actually when I put the ram out, they were uh, in estrogen or whatever you call it, and the ram went and he did his business. Um, so it's, I could probably almost get it to the date, um, to the day if I want. But a lot of times what you do, um, whenever you're expecting lambs, you can their milk will come in. A lot of times, 30 day, about 30 days before the uh, the lambs come. But sometimes I've had the the milk come three days before, and even they had them, and then the milk came in. I mean, you just most of the times they come in before, but sometimes they don't. So you can't always you can't always judge that. You might be looking at your uh, ewes like, well, the milk can't come in. The next day you go out there, and they have one on the, they have one on the ground. And the milk came in. So I mean, but more times than none, the the milk does come in um, early. So you got you got a pretty it gives you. A, little time frame i'm gonna have some lamps so it gets to get things prepared but yeah they're coming back over here now all right guys hope that answers some of the questions y'all had uh, about processing yes i do process my own lambs 
I don't know. I think I put a video up a long time ago about my took now. This went over YouTube monetization was deleting channels and doing all that stuff um, when people were showing the actual processing of it. So I haven't done that yet. But now I think they kind of relax a little bit as far as deleting channels. Um, Gabby, quit. But I think they've kind of relaxed just a little bit when it comes to deleting channels on that. So uh, whenever it comes time, I'm probably going to uh, process another one for y'all. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, like always, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, like I said earlier, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.